so good to have this conversation with you about abiding in Christ. We've been in this ser sermon series on abiding, and we are learning to remain in constant awareness of dependence on and connection to the power and presence of Jesus in our lives. Right, right. And uh, I just wanted to have a conversation with you about what that looked like in your life. I wanted to start here. What are some of the challenges that you face on a day-to-day -day basis to abiding in Christ? Well, uh, one thing that I have uh, as I'm getting older is mobility. Mm. This is a challenge for me now. And uh, so I have to accept it as something that comes from God. And I don't want him, or this a problem, uh, to take away my joy of abiding in Christ. Mm -hmm. I feel, you know, that uh, uh, Christ is abiding in me. And therefore, I can abide in him. Right. There's such a joy to know that, that it's not just dependent upon us, that he is eager to abide in us. Right. So that right. we can abide in yeah. him. Right. So... So what are some habits that have helped you as you face those particular challenges uh, and you think about remaining in constant awareness of and connection to and dependence upon Christ, what are some ways that you have faced those challenges in order to uh, remain in that place? The Bible was an important thing. And uh, I don't know, 10 years in a row or more, I've read the Bible from cover to cover mm. every year. Wow. Yeah. wow. And that's been good because I can go back as I have come to this event. I can remember how it affected me years ago. And, and uh, then the, uh, the important lesson that is there mm -hmm. for me to learn again and again. Right, yeah. Yeah. right something about the Word of God that no matter how many times you read it, there's still something fresh that comes uh, out of it once again. Right. It's living and active. Yeah, living and active, yeah. right. Yeah, you never outgrow it. Yeah. <laughs> you never outgrow it. So maybe maybe somebody's listening to this thinking, well, that's good for Bruce. He can, he can memorize 106 verses. I can't. Um, he can read the Bible 10 times over. I, I just... I don't feel like I can do that. Um, maybe what is some fruit that you've seen him do and bear in your life as a result of abiding in him? And many times, I, maybe this happens to you too, I, I, misplace, some, I, I misplace something. Hmm. And uh, it's like I misplaced my computer or my, my uh, phone, you know. Where did I leave that? Where? And then along the way, God reveals where it is, you know? Yes, yes. It exactly. happens to you, right? Yeah, oh, absolutely, yeah. 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 He, I, I've often thought he's been very gracious to me. God to, is uh, better than Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent, I love that. I love that. Yeah. Well, it's great to have this conversation with you. I hope that our congregation is encouraged in their walking with the Lord and trusting him each step of the way as he completes his purposes in our yeah. lives. And we yeah. get to see yeah. him work and, uh, and that builds our faith. Yeah.